Now that we've been introduced to the main ideas of equilibrium, we need to learn to apply these equilibrium ideas to acid-base reactions. It's important to consider acid-base equilibrium systems because a lot of biological reactions involve acid-base systems. To begin with, you should recall from previous classes the Arrhenius definition of acids and bases. Based on the Arrhenius definition, an acid was any substance when dissolved in water which increases the concentration of hydronium ions or hydrogen ions. On the other hand, according to the same definition, a base is any substance when dissolved in water that increases the concentration of the hydroxide ion. However, we can provide a more general definition which will apply in more cases. This is known as the Bronsted-Lowry definition. According to this definition, acid-base reactions involve transfer of a hydrogen ion from one substance to another. So for example, hydrogen chloride in the presence of water will produce hydronium ions and chloride ions. In this case, the acid is a HCl because it donates a hydrogen ion to the water. On the other hand, the water acts like a base because it accepts the hydrogen ion from the HCl. Let's look at another example. We could have HSO4- in aqueous form reacting with NH3 in aqueous form, and those are in equilibrium with the sulfate ion and the ammonium ion. In this case, we see that the HSO4 is donating a hydrogen because on the product side, we only have SO4 2 minus. Therefore, the HSO4 acts like an acid. On the other hand, the NH3 on the reactant side is paired with the NH4 plus on the product side. We see that the NH3 accepted a hydrogen ion to become NH4 plus, so therefore the NH3 on the reactant side acts as a base. When we look at this reaction a little more closely, we notice that when we have an acid-base system in equilibrium, both the forward and the reverse reactions involve proton transfer. We've already seen how this takes place in the forward direction, but how would this take place in the reverse direction? In that situation, we see that the NH4 plus would be donating a hydrogen ion to the sulfate ion so that NH4 plus is becoming NH3 and SO4 2 minus is becoming HSO4 minus. When any acid, HA, donates a proton, it leaves behind a base, A minus, that can accept a hydrogen ion or act as a base. In this case, the HSO4 minus on the reactant side acts in, as an acid, and when it loses a hydrogen ion, it leaves behind the base, SO4 2 minus. On the other hand, when a base, such as NH3, accepts a hydrogen ion, it forms an acid. In this case, that acid is NH4+. That NH4 that is formed can act as an acid by donating the hydrogen ion. We would say that the acid that is formed is the conjugate acid of the base ammonia. On the other hand, we would say that the sulfate as a base is the conjugate base of the acid HSO4 minus. Any acids and bases that differ by only one hydrogen ion are known as a conjugate acid base pair. By now, you should be able to differentiate between the Arrhenius definition and the Bronsted Lowry definitions of acids and bases. You should also be able to identify compounds that act as acids or bases based on proton transfer in an acid-base equilibrium.